what's up guys my name is Tanmay and I'm back with another video for our channel simple snippets so in this video we're going to be learning how to convert a decimal number to a hexadecimal number in the previous video we saw how to convert an octal number back to decimal number so if you have missed it you can have a look so let's get started with this tutorial in this video we'll be solving three different problems wherein we have three decimal numbers which need to be converted to hexadecimal numbers now the first question is a plain integer value decimal number the second one is a fractional number and the third one is a combination of both so before we start solving sums I'd like to show you a conversion table between decimal to hexadecimal values now we know the base value of hexadecimal number system is 16 so there has to be 16 unique symbols to denote decimal values so in the first table we have 0 to 9 that is 10 values in decimal and their corresponding values in hexadecimal so as you can see 0 to 9 in decimal is equal to 0 to 9 in hexadecimal that is when we convert any value between 0 to 9 from decimal to hexadecimal the value remains the same now since we have used up the first 10 values or symbols in hexadecimal to represent decimal values we have left with 6 more symbols so let's see what these symbols are now as you can see the values of decimal numbers 10 to 15 are represented by letters or alphabets a to f so when we convert a decimal value number 10 to hexadecimal it is represented by a and similar with all other numbers as shown in the table just keep this in mind as we will need them when we actually solve a problem okay so the second question consists of a fractional decimal number which needs to be converted to a hexadecimal number so the way we do this conversion is slightly different than the previous question which we solved here we first write down the decimal number and multiply it with the base value of hexadecimal number system that is 16 and this will give us a result which is in a fraction 7 and this will give us a result that is 7.20 now here we are interested in the integer part so we write it separately and ignore it for the next iteration so for the next iteration we have 0 0.20 which again needs to be multiplied with 16 to get some answer now we carry on this process till we end up with value 0 or we get a repetitive pattern of numbers so 0 0.20 into 16 is equal to 3.20 so we write the integer part and ignore it for the next iteration and for the next iteration we again have 0 0.20 now if you multiply this with 16 we will again land up with the value 3.20 so we have got a repetitive answer so we will stop the process over here and we have also got our answer which are these integer parts in ascending order so 0 0.45 in decimal is equal to 0 0.73 in hexadecimal so let's take a look at the question number 3 now this question consists of two parts the integer part as well as the fractional part so we divide this problem in two parts part A and part B so in part A we'll solve the integer part and in part B we'll solve the fractional part now for part A we first write down the number 15 in top right corner as we did in the question number 1 and divide it with number 16 till we get the quotient as 0 and we will also be interested in the remainder so since 15 is not directly divisible by 16 we write 16 zeros are 0 and we have a remainder of 15 now according to the table which had the conversion of decimal to hexadecimal values 15 is represented as f since we have also reached our answer as we got 0 in the quotient value we stop this process and 15 in decimal is equal to f in hexadecimal system so this is the answer for part a now let's have a look at part b for part b we have the fraction value 0 0.25 in decimal which needs to be converted to hexadecimal value so as we solved in question number 2 we multiply it with number 16 which gives us an answer of 4.0 now here we are interested in the integer part so we write it separately 
and ignore it for the next iteration which leaves us with 0.0, .0 for the next iteration now if you multiply this with 16 we are again going to land up with 0 so we ignore this step and we've also got our answer that is 4 so 0 0.25 in decimal is equal to 0 0.4 in hexadecimal now that we've got our answer for part A and part B we just need to club these answers to get our final answer that is 15.25 in decimal is equal to f.4 in hexadecimal that's it for this video guys now that we've learned how to convert a decimal number to hexadecimal number in the next video we'll learn how to convert hexadecimal back to decimal number if you like this video give it a thumbs up and make sure you share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when we upload the next video Peace.